This is Daniela Camboni for Kitco News, reporting from the IPMI in Las Vegas. And joining me now is the new executive director for the institution, JP Rosso. JP, congratulations on your nomination. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So tell us a little bit about your role um, at the IPMI now. Uh, the executive director position is the paid professional manager that manages all of the business model and the affairs of the institute moving ahead into the future. Supervises the office staff, sets up the uh, conferences, right. the meetings, and organizes the various committees. JP, why is it important that the IPMI exists? The IPMI is very unusual in the world of precious metals in that it puts together a combination of groups and companies and individuals across the entire spectrum, from banks and mining to finance to manufacturing companies to recycling companies, etc. And it focuses in on the physical side of the marketplace. So many of the other institutions get involved in forecasting prices and trying to discuss trends and this and that. The IPMI deals in the actual physical hard metals and the people who actually have to process it and provide it then into the marketplaces. So it's the true okay. source of information on what's happening in the physical markets. So why should people become uh, members of the IPMI? Because they can get actual hard technical knowledge of the technical aspects, not of financial formulas, but wow, there's going to be a development that could increase the physical use of palladium in a new catalyst and increase consumption by 200,000 ounces a year. Hypothetically, right. but they can get that actual information right. from and being part of the IPMI. Okay, how come IPMI has that knowledge? Where are they getting it from? We started off in 1970 as an organization founded by research scientists at uh, research institutions and at universities like Brooklyn Polytechnic Institute and NYU who were doing research for the major precious metals companies. The more they saw the value of this, of getting together, of sharing their thoughts and ideas, it brought in those companies right. that were sponsoring that research, again, on physical metal. Not pricings and markets and speculations, but what can we do with the metal uh, to enhance our lives? So what trends are you seeing at the IPMI this year? What are the main topics of conversation? Main topics uh, are tending towards future sources of new supply of PGMs, for example. Uh, CPM Group had a very nice presentation on that. Also future uses, new developments for usage of all of the precious metals, the PGMs as well as gold and silver. JP, thank you so much for your thoughts. We're having a great time and congratulations on this conference. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching our coverage from the IPMI here in Las Vegas. We'll have more videos for you coming up. In the meantime, you can email me at newsfeedback at kitco.com. For Kitco News, I'm Dingala Kambone.